In their final two games of the season last year, both wins, Cornell football scored 110 points. That fact, among others, is giving the men in red and white reason to believe with a new year right around the corner. Belly takes the toss, lunging for the pylon, touchdown! College football is off and running in most parts of the country. But in Ithaca, New York, the Cornell Big Red are just getting set for game number one this Saturday at Fordham. It's tough to get a road test on your first first game, but I think we, we're excited for that. Trying to take one game at a time, each play at a time. So we're, we're definitely trying to go in there and do what we do best. Yeah, that's it. Cornell posted a 5-5 five and five mark in 2011, their best record since they finished with the same total in the 2007 season. But this year, Cornell is poised to make a move upward not only in wins, but in the Ivy League. We definitely want to build off those last two games that we had. Um, Oh, we definitely had success throwing the ball, so we're going to continue to try to do that. Success and Cornell football haven't exactly gone together the last few seasons, but this year there's reason to believe on the East Hill thanks to a potent offense led by Jeff Matthews and Shane Savage. Matthews will throw wide open as Savage it's into the end zone. If the Big Red are to have success this season, Matthews and Savage will be big reasons why. Matthews is already on the Walter Payton Award watch list given to the best player in the FCS, while Savage, a fifth-year senior, led the Ivy League in reception receiving yards and touchdowns last season. And then there's the defense. Get out, get out. Come on, set. The Big Red will have to improve on the defensive side of the ball this season if they want to win. It's that simple. Cornell allowed just under 29 points a game last season while surrendering 179 yards a game on the ground and 228 yards a game through the air. But head coach Ken Austin says this year will be different. We'll be a little bit more aggressive defensively and put a little bit uh, better athleticism on the field. Big expectations, big dreams, big red football. And it all starts Saturday. All right, another big red team. Cornell women's soccer in action tonight in Binghamton. Tied in the second half until this happens. Sarah Firminger, highlight real goal. She puts the Cats up 2-1. to one. Jump ahead to the final two minutes now. Cornell on the corner, but BU with the clear. Clutch clear right there. They hang on. Bingo wins it. 2-1 to one is the final. Binghamton High hosting the Elmira Express in boys soccer. Not too far away. Second half, 1-0 Elmira. Follow the orange ball. Alex Varkatsas does, and he scores. 2-0 Express. Three and a half minutes later, how about a hat trick? Varkatsas again. Get this. He scored all three goals in under six minutes. Impressive. Elmira impressive, too. They roll 8-1 to one is the final. Notre Dame boys soccer hosting Waverly. Pink Sox in the house. First half, Notre Dame's Likanga Molingu. The football game isn't until Friday, but it's good. We're tied at nothing. Then later in the half, nice feed to Connor Bentz. Open look, but he bounces out of the keeper, but not the second time. Bentz off the corner kick and the assists. He scores 1-0 Notre Dame, and the Crusaders roll 8-0 is the final.